You might think that magnetism might only matter to three kinds of people. Physics professors, the refrigerator industry, and insane clown posse fans. But magnetic forces are actually responsible for so many things that we take for granted in modern life, including that sweet gaming rig next to you and that phone in your back pocket. Now, for a long time, electricity and magnetism were thought to be unrelated phenomena. But as our scientific understanding evolved over the years, we found that electricity and magnetism were part of the same fundamental force called, you guessed it, electromagnetism, one of the four basic forces that make just about everything in the universe possible. Now, every electric current produces a magnetic field, from the tiny traces on your motherboard to huge high voltage power lines that carry electricity across great distances. But this effect is usually weak enough that it's not obvious or impactful. So when we want to harness magnetism so we can actually do useful stuff with it, the conventional way to achieve this is to loop a wire carrying a current around and around many times in order to concentrate the magnetic field. Then, if you want to get really fancy with a nice strong magnet, you can loop the wire around a magnetic core. Iron is great for this. This is a pretty simple concept, but it forms the basis for many modern electromagnets, making the electromagnetic force an incredibly versatile tool, especially since you can control how strong the magnet is simply by changing the number of turns or coils of wire, or by adjusting how much electricity is flowing through them. But Linus, all I've ever seen electromagnets used for is picking up cars or scrap metal at the junkyard. How is that relevant to me? Well, for starters, that hard drive that's probably clicking away inside your computer right now relies on electromagnets to read and write data. It has tiny little heads that look like the needle arm on a record player that are really just small electromagnets that orient the magnetic domains in the spinning hard drive platter a certain way as it flies past to represent the zeros and ones of data. Though current hard drives rely on thin films rather than conventional coils for writing. Yay, progress. On to another example. What if all that computer use has led to some sort of repetitive strain injury? Well, your doctor might use magnetic resonance imaging, better known as MRI, to have a look at the inside of your hand. This works by using very strong magnetic fields to excite protons in your body, which then actually give off radio waves that can be captured to form an image. And then, when you're done with your uh, imaging and it's time to go home, the ease of varying the strength of an electromagnet, as I mentioned before, has even made travel via maglev train possible. Electromagnetics attached to the bottoms of these trains push the entire train up and forward, allowing them to hover over a metal rail and in doing so travel without friction. So thanks to this, the fastest maglev trains today can travel at 270 miles or 430 kilometers per hour, fast enough to rival some turboprop airliners. But even if you've never ridden a maglev or had to stick an appendage in an MRI machine, you've still benefited from electromagnets as they actually supply nearly all of the world's electricity. Whether most of your country's energy comes from coal, oil, hydroelectric, solar, wind, or nuclear, almost all power plants eventually convert whatever kind of energy source they use into mechanical energy. They use that to drive a turbine, which spins a coil of wire surrounded by a large, powerful, you guessed it, magnet. This causes an electrical current to flow through the wire, which is sent to the electrical grid and ultimately to your house. So while watching this episode of Tech Quickie isn't exactly the same as getting your PhD in physics, Hopefully you now understand the fundamentals of electromagnets and how do they work. And you didn't even need to talk to a scientist to do it. Speaking of how they work, are you a freelancer or a small business owner? Do you find yourself, instead of focusing on the work that you need to do, focused on all the bookkeeping and accounting and bullcrap, that sucky part? Try out FreshBooks. 
FreshBooks is on a mission to make freelancers like you less stressed and more organized through their easy to use tool for crafting and sending professional invoices in seconds. FreshBooks lets you track your hours, so when it comes time to create that invoice, you know exactly what you did, when you did it, and who you did it for. It lets you accept deposits for your work through their platform. It lets you track your expenses, which is pretty freaking cool, because if you've ever done an expense report, you'll know how utterly boring and horrible it is and the best thing about it is you don't have to take my word for it you can try FreshBooks for free for 30 days by going to freshbooks.com forward slash techquickie which is linked below and entering techquickie in the how did you hear about us section so thanks for watching guys if you liked the video like it if you disliked it dislike it if you want to check out our other channels boom right over there if you want to comment with video suggestions boom right down there and if you want to subscribe and follow you're a good person and I like you very much even though I've never met you you could be horrible but I'd have no way of knowing that.